69, 420, 4x3, 133, 1.8, yeah. This is gonna be an impromptu video as I am going to upgrade this focus station. Uh, this is something that I built in 2020, 2019? I don't remember. This used to be my focus station for solo shooting, so I would set this up near where I am and control everything on the camera from here and get a good picture. How could you use that and also be operating the camera at the same time? No, I would just set it up and oh. focus from here as like a YouTube oh. solo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was hardcore. I also used it as my first AC station on a bunch of projects that love the size of it, but it never quite worked as I expected it. It's kind of cumbersome. I thought it was gonna be easy to hold and just like play with this, but the monitor is always loose. Everything rotates. Uh, we still need space for an external receiver. So this is how the station looks when it's almost fully built. And there's a bunch of good ideas in this station that I am still going to carry over to the new one that we're building today. So we have one V-Lock battery that kind of powers everything. And this goes on a junior spud. The last addition to this was a wireless unit. So here we're using the Cinei 2S Pro, but we also use the Holy Land Mars 400 S as you can see, there's obvious problems with things rotating way too much. And this is also turning on, right? Yes. So we should see me twice now. Well, not like that. <laughs> and while this boots up, the idea was to build a focus station from Amazon parts and make it cheap. It ended up costing like just under $200, all from Amazon parts and not including the monitor, the transmitter, and the nucleus. It's just the support structure. And it was a very cool exercise in like building things without having the actual parts at hand. Uh, then I ported this idea to an upgraded version using a better small HD screen and small rig parts. So small rig is sponsoring this episode and they sent us a ton of tiny little parts that we're gonna use to build around this monitor. Did this thing update? Yeah. Yes, now I'm here and I'm also here. So I would be able to rack focus here and the lens would respond, but we didn't install the motors right now. I also stopped solo shooting most of the time because Blake's here. <laughs> the idea for the focus station is to be compact, to be light, that you can carry around on your hands or you can also mount it on a tripod or a C-stand and have some articulation so you can get a comfortable viewing angle also not getting overwhelmed by lighting, and have your own little space to focus. So this is a first AC tool, more than anything. This is the monitor that we're going with. This is the small HD 702 Touch. It's got 1500 nits, which is a good upgrade over the 702 Bright, which is not bright at all these days anymore. Another upgrade that I added was the V-Lock plate on the back, and this already hints at how I'm gonna make this thing more compact than that thing. Great screen, very expensive, still the best cost benefit uh, of small HD monitors that I could find. I also didn't write this video, so any weird moments, cuts, jump, we'll just see how it goes. Goodbye. Uh -huh. So the monitor kind of slides in. Challenge number one encountered. Because of the V-Lock plate, there is an extra verticality to the monitor that I did not account for. So we're gonna try to find an angle. Worst case, I am going to. So this does fit, it's very snug, which is a good thing. And there's two locking points. So let's add these screws here on the sides. And this cage is cool because it gives us NATO rails and lots and lots of locking mounting points for all the other pieces that we're gonna throw onto it. The cage is kind of the core of this build. Everything will go around it, as opposed to the neck of the original build. One thing I wanna do is stop saying so at the end of sentences, because it's like, so what? Okay, cage is mounted. Now we're gonna kind of play to whatever comes up and see how it works. 1870, what is this one? 
and this will be the closest of an unboxing video. Did I say that already? I hate unboxing things. I mean, I enjoy unboxing. I don't see the point of filming it. Yay, so this is an arm. The rosette is going to connect here and this is gonna give you an adjustable handle on where the focus controller is gonna go. But now we gotta find, I bet it's this piece, tiny one. Goodbye. So this is what we expected. It's a quarter inch to rosette mount adapter that we're going to add to the side of here. So the side of the cage is gonna get a rosette mounting plate or mounting place where we're gonna add that handle. And it's got two connection points. That was the biggest lesson I learned from that focus station. It's like one point of contact will not make anything hold ever. So let's go with this side up and I'm gonna leave it like this for now. The cool thing about this rosette is it extends. So you have a few levels of control. <laughs> Blake's main criticism of this project was there's too many articulations. So I had to redesign the whole thing to reduce the articulations. And it was good. It was an improvement. 2071B. Uh, if you decide to build this thing, I will put links for all the parts in the description. This is kind of commonplace on YouTube, right? If you want this, all the links will be in the description. Like everybody says it, but we all collectively know it and it's also not always true. What is this? It's an arm. Okay. Okay, so this piece um, is gonna go on the top of here and it adds several mounting plates and this is where we're gonna add our receiver. It's got a quick release plate so um, we can easily pop in the receiver out when we're putting this thing in the box because the goal is to keep it in a size that you can still put it in a case and not have to rebuild it every time. That was another big lesson from this build. So this is gonna go here and we have three where we're gonna go with two contact points for this little plate. So I'm gonna try to mount it in a way where it does not have room to slide anywhere. These screws have several different sizes. It's nice, it's very nice. So this is mounted securely here, and now the next step is to mount this here. Oh, this is gonna be our downfall, because this is a one contact point kind of situation. This screw is a little short, so we might have to improvise with a different screw. We're gonna leave it aside until we find that piece. Oh, this is a very fancy, adjustable handle. Oh, it comes with NATO rails. Cool. Okay, so the thing about this handle, I think you press it. Oh, you, you have a control here to allow it to rotate. And it goes on this other side. So this is gonna go here. Okay, so two contact points, we're gonna add rails to the side of this monitor. And now this can just slide in. Yeah, and this holds. Oh, this is really neat. Did not anticipate that. So we can adjust this aspect of it. Okay, so this is gonna give us two things. I might move this up so the focus handle can rest more here. But it's not bad and I have, I can adjust the angle of all of this. Cool. So far, great success. I gotta say I am pleased with how this plan is turning out. Usually it doesn't go this smooth, so. We're getting close to the end, I'm getting more nervous about it. <laughs> and this is just, this is like the coolest thing, one of the coolest things I think you can get at Small Rig, which is a collection of screws and keys on a board. So we're gonna use some of these, hopefully, to attach this thing to this plate, since the original ones were too short. So this screw is gonna go here and here. Gives us this. Okay, it's going. It's going somewhere. Feels solid. Only thing that's not from a small rig, actually two things. is how we're connecting this to the tripod. So this is just a ball head. The one thing that it has that we're gonna rely on 
is this plate has room for more than one screw. And that's our main selling point here. So we're gonna take another screw from this guy and add it to this collection. And we're gonna attach this plate to the back of our focus station. Gonna mount on this little thingy here. Yes, it works. One thing that I'm starting to realize is I might need a longer HDMI cable to make this connection. And then this ball head goes into here, right? Is it gonna clash with the battery? Please say no. So I'm gonna steal the battery so we know what's going on here. It will clash with the battery. No. Okay, there's still alternatives. This was the most elegant one. Let's put the battery here so we know what's up. Can I put it vertically? Okay, so there's a chance that this fits here and the battery will still go, but I need screws with a smaller back. Okay, so we're gonna go here, two points, two points of contact, two sort of close quarter inch screws. Okay, the tripod is trying to be our downfall, but we're not gonna let that happen. Maybe I'll try with this and Maybe this will be the one contact point in this entire build. We'll find out. And then the last piece. Which is not from Small HD, but they really should make this. Is a 3.8 to spud adapter. So it can go on the back of this tripod. I'm gonna pop out. And this goes in. So this is that. I'm gonna remove this guy from its current place. Goodbye to you. Hello to you. The only thing I have to power now is this. So we can run a D-tap from here. We have two, two D-taps here, so that's good. Good lock. Yes. Okay, so the tripod gives me clearance there. There is some rotation from that one screw, which means I have to figure out something. Um, but this is already better than the other one. Now I can adjust with the ball head this. Okay, I'm gonna put the nucleus here and decide if we need to move this handle up here instead, or if it's fine where it is right now. So the nucleus controller will go here and this kind of creates the whole thing. We can add the shade. We got close here to not clearing it. We got close in all of them. This one is not gonna go. I'm gonna have to move it up one. So this flap can't go in because there's not enough space for it. So I'm gonna have to move this thing. This only makes me think of like how much fun it is to rig stuff. It's never as you really expect it to go. This one contact screw is gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna have to fix it. And up here, it's not gonna reach either. So it has, this is the highest it can go. I think I'm gonna add this, finish this flap, and then I'm just gonna do some bug fixes. But we can cut while I fix whatever it is that I'm trying to figure. It does not reach. So close. What is this, a foot? I'm gonna have to get a foot and a half HDMI cable for this. Well, this, uh, I guess this sets it. I'm just gonna fine tune it now. <laughs> well, I took another half an hour to see if I could optimize anything beyond my original plan and I couldn't. Some thoughts would be to add a longer NATO railing on this side, but this handle cannot move any higher. I don't know if I'm, how I'm gonna tackle it. I'm just gonna let it be for a bit. We ended up using a couple of screws from here to adjust the ball head to give it a two points of contact instead of one, and that improved things greatly. And last, the battery is already powering the monitor, and I have here a D-tap to USB adapter so we can run a D-tap to barrel on the receiver and a USB to my phone here that I added onto a NATO rail arm and phone holder that small rig also offers. So this is the build. I'm probably gonna have to take away some pieces to fit this in a case. I don't want it to be an overly dramatic, large case, but I'm much happier about this one. It, it's much more solid than the previous one. 
and you can see it works. <laughs> I think this one is lighter actually than the original one. The points of contact are much better. We can still use the shade if you're a first AC that likes that people don't stare at your screen. And we can adjust this, this angle or like rotation. Uh, there is a little bit of play here and that's the thing that I wanna solve. This is still from the tripod plate uh, and you can adjust your phone positioning to a certain extent and keep it charging. So you never run out of power to go to movie set memes while you're working. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. I don't have any more ideas about it. If you come to any brilliant conclusions on how to upgrade this, I'd love to know. Uh, send them in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Chit for headings out.